Greatest of all time. How can you not say Miracle? Miracle. 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 Best player is Miracle. He's a TI winner, has surpassed the highest record of MMR, and is a three-time major champion. At his peak, many considered him the greatest player of all time. So just how good was Prime Miracle actually? Miracle wasn't always into gaming. He spent his early life outside touching grass. But his Dota journey would begin at the age of 12, after going to the internet cafe with his older brothers, who were big fans of Dota All-Stars. He rose to the top quickly. At 13, he was already on the same server as the pros, such as Misery. His first team for Dota 2 was the Balkan Bears, and was with them for just over three months before being kicked. But this would be a blessing in disguise, as his next team would change the course of Dota's history forever. Miracle would join No Tail's newly formed stack, Monkey Business, on August 28, 2015. After finding much success, it only took two months for the team to get sponsored and rebrand under the more famously known Team OG. Their first test was the Frankfurt Major, and OG would find themselves having a hard time adapting to the 6.85 patch. They would finish the group stage in third place, which made them start their run in the lower bracket. Despite their struggles, Miracle had a dominant showing. He would have a 71% win rate with SF, leading many teams to ban the hero purely out of respect for his ability to perform on it. This gave Miracle a chance to show off his versatile hero pool, creating new highlight reels with his famous invoker and alchemist. Like this play here, where Miracle jump scares Arteezy, catching him off guard without Blink or Manta style to escape. He doesn't have a Manta either. Blink's some cooldown, the Manta's also not available, and he gets attacked. Oh, how fast he dies! At his first major, Miracle would solidify his reputation of being one of the best mid laners in the world, helping his team claw their way through the lower bracket, dropping 10 kills and 1 death against Fnatic in their best of one elimination game. He then went on to destroy Southeast Asian team Mineski after they foolishly let Miracle get his Shadow Fiend in both games, resulting in a quick and easy 2-0 for Miracle and OG. He would even swap roles with their carry player, Big Daddy No Tail, where Miracle would pull off being one of the only pros to have the balls to change roles in the middle of a tournament. And as you'll see later in the video, this won't be the only time he does this. Miracle and OG would find themselves in the Grand Finals after defeating EG, which is a true testament to their skill, as EG just won TI5 a few months ago. The Grand Finals was the Miracle Show, as he would once again pop off with his famous Invoker and Alchemist during games 1 and 2, and he would have his famous Shadow Fiend to close out the series, destroying Team Secret and finishing the series with a total of 39 kills, 15 deaths, and 49 assists. And FYI, No Tail went safely in Brewmaster this game, and I don't mean to get political or anything, but we should totally bring this back. After winning Dota's first major, Miracle would lead the charge in helping OG win Dream League Season 4 and Season 5, hoping to carry this momentum into their next big tournament, the Manila Major. The squad of OG was determined to become the first ever group of players in Dota history to win two majors, and they were off to a strong start, finishing the group stage in second place, securing their spot in the upper bracket, beating teams like Scandal's Team Empire and Swindle Melon's Complexity, a team that I miss dearly, but still haven't recovered from when he did this at TI4. Same time bonus pro now, but they'd still be farming the entire time. Echo Slam, Swindle, real trouble, FNG! They bring down the Storm Spirit. Miracle would turn into John Wick in OG's first matchup against Na'Vi, famously dropping zero deaths in the entire series, delivering a statement to Na'Vi in a 2-0 fashion. And I can't think of any other player that's been able to pull this off, so if you know anyone, let me know in the comments. OG would secure themselves in the Grand Finals after defeating Newbie 2-1, and this OG was a different beast, with Miracle having the second highest average kills in the tournament. Miracle would have a dominant showing on his mid-juggernaut, helping his team secure games 2 and 3. And Shoutouts to OG supports Crit and Fly for always enabling Miracle to have a good game, as they're the type of supports to not just gank your lane once, but twice in the first six minutes of the game. OG would go on to win the tournament after showcasing Miracle's TA, who would have the highest damage in the game with a 9, 4, and 8 record. This group of players were creating a legacy for the history books, a dynasty that was supposed to be long lasting if it wasn't for what happened next. Coming off of their major victory, OG were the heavy favorites to win the upcoming international the biggest tournament of the year. They started off strong in the group stage, finishing at the top of their group, but this is where tragedy struck. Despite Miracle having the highest average kills per game, OG would lose their first series against MVP Phoenix, who are the only team in TI history to ever reach the upper bracket with a negative record in the group stage. But credits to Forev for playing like an absolute giga chat in game 3, ending the game with 17 kills and not dying a single time. This shocking loss would send Miracle and Co. to the loser's bracket, 
bracket, where they would face off against TNC, a Southeast Asian team that's had little to no success coming into TI6. And well, this happened. Towers are ready to jump forward. Crit, he needs help now. That ball will it be enough. Kirk is still there in the corner. It's very caught too. Kirk is right next to it. Nerf tells it to go down. Nerf by him. They go for the team boss. Half is out. Arabia's gone. It's insane. And TNC does it. The impossible. Two time making winners. You are gone. OG's elimination at the International Six would be one of the most devastating blows in the organization's history. Their loss here would tear the team apart from the inside. Moon got kicked. Crit left to join Evil Geniuses. And as far as Miracle, he left to join Team Liquid, ending an era for OG. Miracle would start his journey with Liquid on a sour note, failing to qualify for the first big tournament, the Boston Major, after losing their spot to the heavy underdog team Ad Finum. I'm sorry, but why is bro staring into my soul like that? He looks like the guy that that says, wake up, wake up, wake up. But Ad Finum was secretly better than everyone expected. They took down Chinese superpowers, Newbie and LGD Forever Young, when they were in their prime, followed by eliminating Digital Chaos, a team that just placed second at the year's international. Ad Finum's run would sadly end in the grand finals, losing to OG 3-1. But damn, did they give us so many clips that we'll never forget. Team Liquid took not qualifying to Boston personally, winning multiple Tier 1 events soon afterwards. Dota's Kiev Major took place in the middle of this, where Team Liquid would place 5th, losing to Burning's Invictus Gaming in the playoffs. A cool stat despite this, however, is that Miracle had the second highest average in kills, along with being on the list with the most farmed players. This tournament would lead up to the International, where Miracle would once again take his shot at the Aegis. We got to see Prime Miracle at TI7. They finished first in their group, with Miracle turning this stage into a highlight Real. Like this clip here, where he completely outplays Chinese legend Paparazzi. I mean, it's a long ass duration on the silence. But the siphon attempted, but the Lincoln Sphere is there to block it. Set up again with the Meteor comes with GH back in with the Echo Slam. They are going to get both of the cores. They'll take Sakata down, pop that Aegis. GH to round and Kuroki coming back in. Sunstrike connects onto both. There's the AoE Deafening Blast. The right clicks fly up. Miracle, he is absolutely doing it here. He wants to go back in. He gets vision just in time onto Super. Shiva's guard connects. There's the Sunstrike. Bam! Miracle does it. The playoffs would start with Team Liquid once again losing to Burning's Invictus Gaming, making Miracle fans stress out in fear that they would repeat what happened at TI6. But a wise Miracle once said, Upper brackets for bitches. Miracle would lead the team in going on one of the greatest lower bracket runs in Dota history, taking down Puppy's Team Secret, Team Empire with Resolution, who were looking insanely good as they themselves had just pulled off one of the greatest upsets of the year, eliminating evil geniuses. Next, they took down Virtus Pro, a team that had been playing top level Dota all year. Game 1 of this series has to be in your top 10 Dota games of all time. This war of attrition was over an hour and 30 minutes long, with Miracle's Death Prophet scaling into the late game better than any DP I've ever seen before. The game would finally come to an end after an hour and 40 minutes of play, with Team Liquid miraculously holding their base during VP's final push. Liquid would go on to win the series 2-1, with Miracle swapping positions with Matumba Man and going anti-mage in Game 3. It would be flat out wrong to not give credit to each player on Liquid, as they had all peaked in this tournament. Offlaner Mind Control had the most feared Nature's Prophet in the world. Mind Control! Mind Control! This is a buyback! This is a diamond! No! He's gonna be cheese! He's gonna get the last round! Acid and 20! Mind Control gets the mega! Their carry Matumba Man would always be willing to swap positions with Miracle, which is not an easy thing to do. Liquid support GH was one of the best playmakers in the world, and was always willing to frontline for his team even if it meant certain death. And the glue that fits this all together was Miracle, as I think we can now say that he is the Messi of Dota. Miracle and Co would go on to cement their names in the Dota history books by winning the International 7, being the first team to wipe their Grand Finals opponent 3-0. And Team Liquid wasn't done yet.
Jet, winning multiple tournaments after their TI victory, resulting in Miracle seeing more trophies than the amount of times Bulba has picked Storm Spirit. Okay, that's probably not true, but you get the point. Something that separates Miracle from the crowd is his insane level of innovation, and we can see this when Miracle takes Roshan in less than a second. All right, oh Roshan, here we go, man, from 100 to Another great quality Miracle has is being a massive clutch player for his team. Like this clip here where Miracle uses extreme precision to place Arc Warden's magnetic field over the Ancient to keep it alive during Alliance's all-in push. Nico, baby. He has to go for it. It's all him, all the diebacks. He needs to hold him out. Oh, no, 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 no. He's got a second one coming up too. He's stunned up. They made just a full die back. He's actually going to do it. Oh my god, the throw stays alive. S4 spot back. He's teeping it. He's teeping it. He's healed up! He must have been dead! He's They've all fought back! They've all died back! Miracle and the crew would still go on to perform well at events, placing second at the Paris Major, second at the Epicenter Major, and second at the International 2019. But a lot has changed after Liquid's loss at TI9. The squad left Liquid to rebrand under a new name, Team Nigma Galaxy. Ever since this change, the squad has been struggling significantly, drawing in criticism from fans who miss their old days on Liquid. Miracle is still playing really well, but he now solely plays carry instead of mid. And let's be honest, I think we all miss Miracle playing in the mid lane. I mean, who else hits clips like this? To a tier 1 either, so... But yeah, maybe a slight little mistake there from Kaka. Nine. Ooh, tornado oh, okay. oh! So the question is, how good was Prime Miracle? Well, let's look at it this way. He can perform at the top level with multiple roles. He's reliable in winning his lane. He consistently tops tournament charts in average kills per game and in GPM. He's revolutionized the way people play Invoker and has won over 20 trophies during the span of his career. I'd personally give him a 99 overall at the peak of his career. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments. It's also important to recognize that you are enough. Come on, give yourself a pat on the back. You've come a long way. And no matter what the outcome is, I'm proud of you for waking up today and trying your best. And your heart still beats as you watch this video, which means that you're capable of greatness, of growth, of change, of anything you set your mind to. Keep moving forward and don't look back. Focusing on the past is not a present vision. Take a deep breath, relax, you're doing just fine. Do me a solid and keep moving forward, be kind to yourself along the way, and if you're feeling spicy, give yourself a compliment today. You deserve it. I love y'all, thank you so much for watching. Oh wait, I forgot to mention I have a Discord server now, which will mainly consist of Dota 2 news, a TI watch party, and even a chat to flex pictures of your pets. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I love y'all. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.